today we'll be talking about natural DO for the BO. <laughs> It's Amanda with the Print Crunch, and today I'm going to be doing a video on natural deodorants and my whole journey of trying to find a natural deodorant that actually works. Does it exist? Let's talk about it. So for years and years and years, I just used the Dove deodorant. At the time, it seemed natural to me because, you know, they put a picture of fruit on the front, right? So it's natural, right? <laughs> it just was a good deodorant that worked for me and I could get it in bulk at Costco so that was a plus too. In all honesty when it comes to my cosmetics a lot of the stuff I use is actually more conventional um, just because I have found that it works better. Um, I have tried a lot of natural products um, some of them being quite expensive and they just don't even work that well so I for a lot of things have just used a lot of conventional products. Now I have justified that, you know, me being the moderately crunchy person that I am, um, I generally like to choose to do things that are more natural. As you know, that we like to eat um, mostly organic, natural, real food, um, just because I feel like the things that we are literally putting in our bodies, you know, we are what we eat, we become what we eat. And so that just is a no-brainer to me. And then there's the frugal side of me that's like, dang, that stuff's expensive. And it's the same with cosmetics. And so my philosophy has just kind of been things that I put on the outside of my body, they do absorb into your skin a little bit, but I felt like it's not the same as taking things, you know, like food internally, where you're actually literally putting it inside your body. Um, so I will be honest and say that you know, cosmetics are an area where I do things often a little more conventionally. But then when I got pregnant with my daughter Sophie, I was really starting to think about it. I was just thinking like, okay, because some of this stuff probably does absorb into your skin, it's not going into your body, but it does, you know, some of it does get in there by absorbing through your skin. When I was pregnant, I was like, I don't really want to take any risks with toxic chemicals, not that it's really that bad, but that's kind of how I was feeling. And so I was like, okay, let's just start with the deodorant because that is something that is like sitting on your skin all day. It's not like soap where it just washes off. Um, it's actually like sitting on your skin all day. So I was like, well, let me at least try and find a natural deodorant when I'm, while I'm pregnant. So I went, out on a search to try and find one. Now in years past I have kind of dabbled on and off in trying to find one. You know most of the time in the past when I've tried natural ones I just have gotten the ones that are at the natural food store. Um, Tom's, you know we use the, the Tom's toothpaste and love it and I remember trying the Tom's deodorant quite a bit. Um, only problem was it didn't work that well. You know it worked maybe for the first couple hours but it, it didn't last all day long. And, and it didn't have much of an um, antiperspirant quality to it. I mean, I know it's natural for us to sweat and everything, but I just don't like the feel of having wet armpits. You know, I felt like it just wasn't that effective. There's one other brand I had tried along the way to, I can't remember what it was called. That one was even worse. And so I was like, screw that, I'm just going back to my Dove. And so for a long time, I've just used my Dove. I said when I was pregnant, I decided to look into it again. And so I remember actually watching a Mama Natural episode and she was talking about this very issue, like finding a natural deodorant that works because they just don't work. And so her video was talking all about this product called Primal Pit Paste. <laughs> and now I remember when I first told my husband about this, he's like, Primal Pit Paste? That's an attractive name. <laughs> I was like, you better believe it. Mama Natural gave a, a really good review of it and was talking about how it actually worked and how it was made of all these ingredients that you could eat. And you literally can eat this stuff. <laughs> like it's like all food ingredients and natural items. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go on Amazon and give it a try. And it is pricey, but I thought, well, I'll just use it while I'm pregnant. And you know, then I'll go back to using my regular deodorant after that. And so I ended up getting this Primal Pit Paste and I got the unscented and I ended up trying it. And it was more effective than any of the other natural deodorants I had used, but it still wasn't quite as good as the conventional stuff, I thought, at least the unscented one. I ended up using that through the end of my pregnancy. I was like, ugh, oh, that's it. I'm going back to using my regular old Dove again. 
And so I, I did for the first few months after Sophie was born and then I got to thinking again. I think I had actually seen some of the YouTubers that I watched do some videos on natural deodorant and it got me thinking about it again and I was like, hmm, maybe I should really be rethinking, you know, which, whether I should be using more natural cosmetics or not. I was like, I need to find a balance because I was thinking about the stuff that is sitting on my skin all day probably is getting into my body and my bloodstream even though it's in small amounts, doing it every day, day in, day out, it probably does have a small effect. And so I was like, maybe those are the things I should change first. I decided, you know what, I really need to find a deodorant that I am happy with and can use long term, a natural deodorant. And I also decided to do the same with my lotion and face cream since that's something that's just sitting on your skin all the time. Um, I have still stuck with conventional shampoo but that's actually the last conventional thing that I'm still using. Um, I am using a natural soap only because I find that using conventional soap actually does irritate my skin a little bit. That's a legit reason for me to use just a natural bar soap for that. Um, so anyway, I digress. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just try getting the Primal Pit paste again and just getting a scented one because maybe that would make a difference in, you know, taking care of the weird smell that I was talking about. Um, and so I ordered two different scents. And so I got um, the thyme and lemongrass and lavender. And I tried the thyme and lemongrass first. And let me tell you, it was even worse than the unscented. This is a very strange smell. I mean, it smells, it smells like it's very lemony, which you think would be nice, but when it mixes with B.O., Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's like really bad. I was like trying to get through it, just trying to use it. I was like, I paid the money. I might as well just try and finish this thing off. And I just couldn't do it. I was like, I can't stand smelling this way. It's like this scent is really not, I mean, you know, it might work better for men. Like something about like the thyme and lemon smell, it might work better as a man scent. I don't know, but I really didn't like it. So I was like, that's it. I'm gonna try my lavender one, and if that doesn't work, then screw it. I am just using conventional deodorant. <laughs> and so I tried the lavender one, and lo and behold, this one, this one works for me. It really works. I was amazed. After my whole journey, with even with the other scents of the same brand, this was the only one that worked. And I don't know what it is, something about the lavender, really works with my body chemistry or something. Because um, I, I don't get any of that strange smell that I got with the unscented, and it actually smells really good. I mean, I just, I think it's just lavender essential oil. Oh, it smells so good. Just like, you know, there's crushed up lavender here. It smells so good. Um, and it works. Like, I have been so surprised. I actually can get through a whole day without stinking, and I still smell good. <laughs> the other thing I like about the Primal Pit Paste is that it has baking soda in it, so it actually does have a slightly, you know, like antiperspirant quality to it, um, which I really like because I find that I definitely don't really get like wet in my armpits at all. Not that that was a huge problem for me anyway, but even a little bit of that I didn't like, um, and this prevents that. So I was just about to give up on natural deodorant, and I am so glad that I ordered the lavender because this one really works for me. Who knew? That has been my journey with natural deodorant, and so that has been my conclusion. After trying a zillion kinds, and even a few of the same brand, the lavender scented Primal Pit Paste is the one that has worked for me. One downside of all of these Primal Pit Pastes is that it is like really thick and tacky, and it doesn't like glide on as easily as like a regular deodorant. And I will actually tell you a side story about that. When I was pregnant and using the non-scented one, I actually ended up getting an armpit infection. You can probably see me talking about that in one of my pregnancy vlogs. Um, but realized that like after I had shaved my armpits and like put the stuff on, something about it like pulling on the skin, it somehow got infected in there and like bacteria that was just sitting on this or whatever just like got into like one of those pores and got really infected and so I ended up having to go on a topical antibiotic because of it. I was like this is a little ridiculous my deodorant should not be causing me skin infections <laughs> and so I was like 
you know, I know that that is the source of the problem. So, and I think there's a simple solution to it. So what I do with my primal pit paste is that I just use coconut oil because I actually use a fair amount of coconut oil just on my skin in general. Like I use it as a body lotion and a hand lotion, um, you know, by itself or in addition to my other lotions sometimes. And so I just have that sitting in my bathroom. And so I just put a layer of coconut oil on my armpits and then this just glides right on and problem solved. That has fixed it for me and that's not an issue anymore. <laughs> anyway, so the other thing I wanted to mention was just how awesome these ingredients are. Like, like I said, you could literally eat this stuff. It is non-aluminum baking soda, organic shea butter, organic coconut oil, organic beeswax, uh, organic arrowroot powder, lavender essential oil, and non-GMO vitamin E from sunflowers. So that is, I love how simple this stuff is. At least this one actually works for me. So anyway, that's my experience with natural deodorant. So um, I would love to hear if you guys have tried natural deodorants, like which ones have you tried, which ones work, which ones don't work. Um, you know, maybe there's one out there that I just haven't found yet that is also a really effective one. I don't know. I would love to find out because this has been like the eternal mystery for me is finding a natural deodorant that works. And I think I finally found one. So anyway, I hope this was insightful to you in some way and give it a thumbs up if you thought it was. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out our Facebook page and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. With social media and everything like their whole issue of you know people feeling like everybody else has their you know all these other moms have their lives so well put together but I think often you know people just aren't sharing that part you know so here I am to share it and say it is normal I am exhausted